videos have been emerging on social media showing the effects of Hurricane Elsa on Barbados and St. Vincent. Fortunately, there has not been any reports of injury or death and I trust that will be the same. As at 5 p.m. on Friday, July 2nd, Hurricane Elsa is trekking west-northwest, packing maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour and a central pressure of 991 millibars. As such, a hurricane warning has been issued for Jamaica and by way of definition, a warning means that hurricane conditions are expected to start affecting the island within 36 hours or less. Now, there are two potential safe ingresses for Jamaica. These are the rapid forward motion of Elsa, which has been moving at a blistering pace across the Eastern Caribbean, clocking speeds of 30 miles per hour, a trend which is expected to continue for the next few days. And the other ray of hope for the island is a projected path of the hurricane. Now, a fast moving system can be a blessing in a few ways. One, the faster a system moves, the less likely there will be significant development or increase in intensity. And two, a fast moving system is likely to produce less rainfall over an area when compared to a slow moving or a stationary storm that dumps rainfall for hours if not days, causing in some instances catastrophic flooding. Let me hasten to point out though that despite the breakneck speed, Elsa has been strengthening slowly. On close examination of the projected path, the hurricane is expected to pass to the northeast of Jamaica, spearing us a direct hit. However, based on the diameter of the system and the amount of moisture wrapped up in the outer bands of the system, weather conditions across the island are expected to deteriorate significantly come Saturday night into Sunday morning as Elsa makes its passage through the Greater Antilles. It is also important to bear in mind that hurricane force winds may extend outward up to 25 miles from the center of the system and storm force winds may extend as far as 140 miles from the center. As a result, all small craft operators, including fishers from the Keys and Banks, should by no be in port and are urged to complete their necessary safety precautions without delay. And people living in low-lying flood-prone areas should also start making arrangements in a bid to protect lives and property. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here, Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!